Little dragon coconuts, small wings, big dragon heart. With your friends flying high, making flips up in the sky. You are having lots of fun on your island in the sun. Matilda, Oscar, coconuts, you are superstars. One for all, all for one. You're brave, whatever comes. Standing strong together, always smart, always clever. Coconut and his gang face anything hand in hand. Coconut and his gang. More of a big eggy sort of egg. What's it doing here? Maybe someone lost it. <laughs> How do you lose something the size of that? Maybe it fell out of a nest and rolled all the way down to the beach. Well, we can't leave it here. We've got to find its parents. How? We ask. <clears throat> Ugh. Come on, help me out here. We find the parents soon. This is hot work. Hot. Yes, we've got to keep the egg warm. Huh? Huh? If you don't keep eggs warm, they don't hatch. We could do with it hatching. It'll make our job much easier. You help! while we go and find something to eat. No. We found it and it's our duty as dragons to keep it safe. And that means finding its mum and dad. And keeping it warm. Well, could we find somewhere nearby to keep it warm while we look for the parents? Hmm. You're right. We'll take it to the volcano. That's miles away. But it's warm. What are you youngsters <gasps> doing out here with that egg? It's not yours, is it? Hardly. Can you imagine me laying an egg that size? Oh, that would have hurt. Oh, what do they teach kids these days? <sighs> what? Which way are you going? Sorry, we didn't see you there. <laughs> of course not. I'm so easy to miss. Uh, this egg? You wouldn't happen to have laid it. He's a bloke. He means mislaid. You haven't lost it, have you? No, I haven't. But I know who might have done. Unless I'm very much mistaken. That's a mountain dragon egg. You might ask one of them. There! Job done! No, it isn't. The mountain dragons live beyond the volcano. But I'll go and pay a visit on the mountain dragons. You try and find somewhere warm to keep the egg until I find the parents. Brilliant! Come on, Oscar! Oscar! <laughs> the egg's gone. <gasps> it's gone! Yes, the 
That's what I said. Make a lovely omelette, this will. Go on, Terence. Hey! You can't eat that! Why not? Because it's... I mean, we've been... It's not yours! <laughs> it is now! <laughs> yum, yum! What do we do now? We get it back! Hmm... Do you know, I reckon I might get a medal for this. Huh? When I give it to the chef. There's nothing he likes better than a nice runny omelette. Glad I found it. You? What do you mean, you? Well, I saw it first. You'd never have got it back here without me. And I was carrying the heavy end. That medal's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's the big idea? That's my house you're barging against. Wasn't me. It was him. I never touched it. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. It certainly oh. is. <gasps> And that will fit nicely in my omelette pan. <laughs> Dragons of Gourmet Village, prepare yourselves for a rare and exceptionally delicious dish. Omelette au fine herbe et au truffe for chef. The egg, if you please. <laughs> no, please, you can't. Ah, ow. Ah, yeah. Ow. Oh. Oh. Put me down. Put me down. Hold him until the omelette's ready. <laughs> the egg. The omelette. The omelette. We're going to have that long to wait after all. It's hatching. Look! Junior! Look, those 
those dragons down! You've been a very bad chick, Junior, running off like that. Mama! <laughs> Thank you, dear. Very good of you to help me find Junior. I did have some help. It was really all down to coconut. Was it really? Well, now he's all down to me. Coconut, I think now might be a good time to... Here, you little... Sorry. Ah! 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 Oh, that was close. <laughs> what will we do now? <laughs> You're it. <laughs> here, could Matilda stay over too? Oh, I don't see why not. Yay! Sleepover! We're going to have a sleepover! <laughs> here comes Coconut's dad! Yay! Maybe you should slow down a bit. You might get indigestion. Not me. <laughs> My stomach lining's like iron. Um, how long did you say Oscar was staying? I'm not sure. I said we'd look after him while Adele and Herb went on a truffle hunt. Uh, and, um... How long does it take to hunt a truffle? <laughs> What's for supper? You just had it. I thought that was lunch. Yep, it was lunch too. <laughs> yeah, but I did a week's shopping yesterday. That's before our <clears throat> guest arrived. Oh. Well, let's hope his mum and dad find their truffles quickly. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Ta da! Beat that, Oscar! Oh. Oscar? Oscar, don't you think we ought to wait until we get it onto the table? Snored myself awake again. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Someone was hungry. <laughs> should know, Oscar. You had it last night. What? Huh? What do you mean? Someone had a bit of a midnight feast, didn't they? Oh, <gasps> The food cupboard's empty! It wasn't me. 
See? I'm starving. You're always starving, Oscar. Oh, well, no use crying over spilt milk or empty food cupboards. Off you go, Magnus. What? Where to? To get some more groceries, of course. We've got to eat. <gasps> Need some help, Dad? <laughs> oh. We'll come too. Wasn't me. I can prove it. How? All right. I can't prove it. Right, you three, off to bed. And no sneaking downstairs for a snack in the middle of the night. But I. Uh... Must have snored myself awake again. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Someone was hungry. <laughs> Thank you, Pop Magnus. See you later. It wasn't Oscar, Mum. I'm sure of it. Oscar isn't greedy. Well, not that greedy. Oh, thanks for sticking up for me. That's what friends are for. But Oscar... It wasn't me. But who else could it have been? Suppose it wasn't Oscar. I keep telling you. Suppose it was a burglar. A b burglar? Yes! A burglar! Someone who creeps into the house at dead of night, snaffles our food and sneaks out again. So maybe we could build a trap to catch him in. Yes! Great idea, Matilda! Uh, how do we build this trap? Hmm. We'll need a big net and we could use the rope from the swing and... Oh, no bait. We'll have to wait until Dad gets home before we can bait the trap with food. One food thief trap, all ready to catch a food thief. How does it work? Huh? <laughs> oh! oh, ow! Oh. <laughs> um, a bit like that? <gasps> <sighs> Pastry? Yes, please. <clears throat> <sighs> Did you enjoy that, Oscar? <clears throat> yes, thanks. <laughs> Couldn't eat another thing. Come on, time for bed. Right. You keep an eye on the trap from my bedroom window. And I'll keep watch outside. As soon as they've all gone to bed, I'll come back down here. Huh? If it's not a burglar, then I'll find out who is the food thief. Oh. <sighs> 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 
Hunting go. Find any? I'm sorry. I really am. Imagine sleepwalking. <laughs> Sleep eating? Yes. I was wondering how I got into the kitchen. But it wasn't really Oscar's fault. He didn't know what he was doing. Well, that's gourmet dragons for you. Even when they're asleep, they think of nothing but their stomach. Oh, of course. I was forgetting that you fire dragons are so much better than everyone else. Now, Adele, Oscar did eat them out of house and home. Oh, uh, not quite. There's still plenty of food left in the cupboard. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> This is such a good idea, Coconut. Oscar, what's not to love? I get onto Tasty's back, ride him to full speed, and he launches me into a glorious flight. But Tasty hasn't got the speed to launch anything. That's why roller skates! I just think less think, more action. Right, Tasty? Uh-oh! <laughs> oh, don't mind me. I'm just picking up my mugwort and catnip perfume sprig. <sighs> What's that, Herb? Oh, yes, it is. Very exclusive and expensive. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you have fallen from the stars, no? <laughs> <coughs> Good catch, Chef. You better beat it. Oh, thanks, buddy. I got this. Mum will go volcanic if she sees you. Where is he? Uh, where's who? Coconut. You never do something like this on your own. You're too passive, just like your father. Huh? Hmm? Why you can't assert yourself is beyond me. Now, clean this mess up. Yes, dear. Yes, Mum. Oh, Adele. I never noticed how the light catches your breath. <laughs> oh, Chef, you're so masterful. <laughs> <gasps> oh. Adele. Can I invite you to an intimate picnic? Just you, me, and cow offal sandwiches. <gasps> no! No, 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 no! Yes! Uh, uh. Oh. Chef can't speak to my mum like that! Someone's got to do something! Got to do something. Because you know about doing stuff. Mm, that's true. But why do you care? You're always moaning about how bossy, silly, boring, and annoying your family is. Yes, but they're my bossy, silly, boring, and annoying family. We've absolutely got to put Mum off chef before Dad finds out. Oh, that would be a disaster. Um, well. From what you've said, it sounds like Chef's romantic picnic is missing one special ingredient. Chocolate sauce? 
Sabotage. Sabotage sauce? Hmm. Never gonna want to speak to Chef again. <laughs> oh, wish I could see the look on their faces. Right, Oscar? Oscar? Oh, oh. Oh, looks like I'm going to get my wish. Range sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs> Fool. Free range sausage roll. Um. <laughs> Hello, chef. Uh, I mean, uh... <laughs> a bunch of flowers with sneezing powder. One sniff, and it's all over. For you, my sweet. <laughs> Dip vine. Don't worry, the super shaken bottle of bubbly is next. <laughs> My goodness, are you okay? Oh yes, 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 yes. Just a uh, pilot crunch. Oh, I love your voice. Oh. This isn't working. I have oh. composed a poem in your honor. <clears throat> Shall I compare thee to a custard trifle? Huh? Or an accent stew, or a rabbit pie, or tea? He's just listing food. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't bear to watch. Ah, but here come the sandwiches with added porcupine quills. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Chef's first. No! Oh, oh, Chef! No! This could not get any worse. Oh, a lesser spotted... <laughs> now it's all going to kick off. <gasps> what a disaster! <laughs> Come on. Where to turn your dad into the dragon of your mum's dreams? You've got to fight for what you want, Mr. Oscar's dad. Step up and win Mrs. Oscar's mum's heart back. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Suppose? Give me a dragon roar. Huh? Come on! Give me your dragon roar! Uh, oh, OK. Um... <clears throat> Rawr. Oh. <gasps> Rawr! A mouse! Shoot! Go on! Go on! Shh. We might need some help here. Rawr! Help! Hmm. See, Matilda, he needs a makeover. A new style that says, I am dragon, hear me roar! No challenge, guys. Uh, um... And we definitely need to do something about that. Mm, definitely. It's not the weight, it's the chi, you see. All your untapped energy is down here, and you want to up here, yeah? To make that change, you need positive thinking. Oh. <clears throat> Yoga! Uh, <clears throat> hmm. Maybe a hat's the way to go. Oh, smells like perfection, Chef. <laughs> yes, almost, almost as perfect as you. Irresistible, desirable, perfect seasoning for red meat dishes. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, like, uh, like, like me. I'm red meat, and it is. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. <laughs> come on, Dad, you can do this. When Mum sees you make her favourite meal, she'll come running. <laughs> I eat when I'm nervous. Or confident, but mostly nervous. Oh. Maybe I should just wait. I'll just wait. Oh, now what? <laughs> he stole my food! Someone has to do something. No, I have to do something. <laughs> You leave my mum alone! Ooh. Give me mum's herbs! Let go! My boy! Go out of the way, you flabby wimp! And my herbs! Oh, it was nothing. Not for a big, strong dragon like Dad. <laughs> no, I suppose not. <laughs> Come on, let's go home. How come they get all the adventures? Did someone huh? say adventure? Mm. <laughs> 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 on Fire Island. Music! Sweet music! <laughs> yeah! As long as this year they have a better pop group... The Fruit Toots and I will perform down there. The crowds will be there, there, there and there. Not Pineapple and the Fruit Toots again. Whoop doop doo No! Our later song goes ra ra meow! Oh, it'll be so totals. Everyone loves us. Everyone's just dying to see us. <laughs> no problem there. You could see her big head from space. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one would turn up to see you, Coconut. Who'd want to see a loser dragon that can't even fly? <laughs> Would. Um, I, I mean, he's not a loser. Too right. I could be just as popular as the Fruit Toots. Uh, what's that? Can't hear you. Fly up and repeat it, please. Oh, you can't. <laughs> right, that's it. I'm gonna show her. By learning to fly? No, by forming an awesome band to play at Dragfest and show just how popular I can be. Oh, uh, 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 how do I form an awesome band? Auditions? Auditions! Right! Thanks. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> 
Out. Ow. Hey, 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 yeah. Wow. No air guitar, just chef guitar. Uh -huh. Oscar, that was really interesting. So I'm in. Um... <laughs> Sorry, Oscar. This band has to be the absolute best it can be. I, I just don't think you're quite what we're looking for in raw talent. Raw talent. Raw talent. Raw, raw talent. talent. Oh, okay. I'll uh, see you later. Oh, man. Raw talent got funk, soul and rock and roll, you hear? Of course I hear. <laughs> no one's even gonna notice pineapple after they hear us. Uh-huh. Sorry, no backstage. Access raw talent uh, only. Sure, sure. I just had one teensy-weensy question. What do you do in the band, Coconut? Uh, me? <sighs> Hi. Yeah, what do you do, Coconut? Uh, uh, well, I... The thing... Uh, what I... Do you even play an instrument? Uh, no, but it's... It's my band! Yeah, but see, this band has to be the best it can be. I know what to do. Ah, don't eat me! Yeah. Eat you? Why would I eat you? But you are out of the band. Huh? No! Ragfest! Stupid music! Ow! Huh? Sorry, Matilda. I'm in a bad mood. Uh, no need to take it out on the trees. But I got kicked out of my group by the people who were supposed to be my bandmates. No one knows how I feel. Yeah? Well, I got kicked out of the Dragfest conga line dance, and they never said why. I love conga. Ow! Oh, maybe that's why. And what about Oscar? He wasn't even allowed in his best friend's band. Oh, you're right. I'm a terrible friend. Ow! To Oscar and Trees. I'm sorry, Oscar! Whoa! Whoa! Oh. <gasps> That's okay, Coconut. I guess we're all just a bunch of outcasts now. Yeah. I just wanted to beat Pineapple so badly. I guess I got carried away. Wait a minute. That's it. I'm still going to show that pineapple. Come on. I need you for this. So, you see, we've all been rejected. But we don't need to be accepted. We don't need to be popular. Because we are the Outsiders. We'll form our own band and play our own songs on our own stage. 
I like it. It's uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> this might just work. But how are we going to get our own stage? Dragfest has already started. Trust me. She is stage hug. Man, we were meant to start playing an hour ago. But I'm the star everyone wants to see, and you are my fans. So sit down and shut up! <gasps> Coconut would know what to do. So they can hear how great we are. No, we need to get the crowd closer to us. Big Bo! Huh? Popularity shouldn't be about being better than everyone else. It should be about having fun and including everyone else. Come on! You can all be outsiders too! All right, <laughs> let's get shaking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Careful, Herb. Yeah. Oh, careful. <laughs> Coconut. I had a huge crowd of fans until he stole them. Well, we don't have a huge crowd of fans either, Pineapple. Everyone's in the band. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Of course, the outsiders do still need a synchronised flying trio. Are you up for it? Definitely! Flying high is not everything. Big Bo! Whoa! Coconut, have you seen Grandpa Georgie's chocolate cake? Uh. <clears throat> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> but I'm meeting Oscar. <clears throat> oh. Hey! Too bad. You shouldn't be so greedy. Oh, Grandpa Georgie, I promised him a cake for a picnic on the beach and you ate it. <laughs> like I said, it was an accident. Oh. Make sure it doesn't burn. Take it out in 20 minutes. Oh, but Oscar... I'm trusting you. <gasps> Uh, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh. There you 
は。Did you hear that? Yeah. I was coming to find out what it was. Baldwin the cave dragon's running around on the beach. He's going crazy. I'll go and talk to him. See what's up. Go and get Oscar, and we'll meet on the beach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody forget to brush today. Um, so something wrong, Baldwin? <laughs> Baldwin, you need to leave the beach. <laughs> Oh, let's get him into the surf shop at least until we can figure out what to do. Good plan. <laughs> Hold on! Baldwin's going mad on the beach and you want to go down there? Yeah! Because? To help him. It sounds like he's scared. Uh, let's go. He's scared. <laughs> What's going on? Why's Baldwin locked in a surf shop? No place for kids, Coco. Off you go home. I think Mama's baking a cake. But... No buts. This customer is dangerous. Dad, that's Baldwin in there. He's cool. Oh, if scaring little kids is cool, then yes, he's the coolest customer in town. So, what's the plan? The plan is... You leave us to it. <laughs> Something's wrong with Baldwin, all right. And they've locked him in the surf shop. He needs our help. Uh, maybe uh, get a fishing net and wrap him up in it and drag him back to the mountain? <laughs> Baldwin, what's the problem? <laughs> Ow! Hey, I already told you it's too dangerous for youngsters. Now, off you pop. But, Dad... But, Dad, nothing. I'm not having Baldwin eat you on my watch. <sighs> hey, Magnus. Is your house supposed to be smoking like that? What? what? Oh, uh, come on! Stay clear of the cave dragon! We will! Whoops. I might have left a cake in the oven. Cake? Huh? <laughs> uh, don't worry, Baldwin. We're going to get you out. <laughs> Something nasty? Mm -hmm. Something really, really rotten? <laughs> Toothache. Toothache? Ooh, ouch. 
Let's take a look in your mouse. Maybe we can find out what's wrong. <laughs> Come on. The Tooth Fairy might have something for you. Cake? <laughs> mm. Are you hungry, Baldwin? Because you can't eat with toothache. <laughs> hey! My mum's bringing a massive chocolate cake down here later for a picnic. If you let us fix your toothache, <laughs> then you'll be able to eat some cake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coconut. <laughs> <laughs> George, he's going to be so disappointed. Can you bake him another one? No way! This is Coconut's problem. He can deal with it. Um, OK. It's the only way he'll learn. See you there. I'd better go and deal with that mad cave dragon. Aww. Hey! That has to come out. Hey! Uh, I'm coming! Hold on! Put put them down! Oh, hi, Dad. Poor Baldwin here's got a bad tooth. Uh, uh, huh? So, let's get it out. We were meeting for a picnic. Where's my cake? Yoo-hoo! Oh, oh, finally! <laughs> Don't get too excited. Huh? <sighs> oh. Now, Coconut is going to explain exactly why your cake is like a giant lump of coal. <laughs> well? Uh, I am? Oh, OK. <laughs> Sorry, Grandpa Georgie. What it was... <laughs> Me? <laughs> hey, that's mine! <laughs> 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 Stop that! He ate my cake! <laughs> Flying test is in two days. This year's discipline, synchronised flying. Mm, can it get any worse? Line up in groups of two, please. Please, 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 can we be a team? We already came up with our own choreography. <laughs> and we want to get... A with a triple plus and not failed. Mm. Oh, fine. C 
coconut will be my flying partner then. Huh? Impress me, coconut. Oh, synchronized flying is a mix of flying, dance, and gymnastics in the air. Oh, it's so girly, and flying with Prozalinda is the most embarrassing thing in the world. Hmm. You better pretend to be ill. There's no way out. Prozalinda mm. will make sure I do it. Pinch me and tell me that it's just a bad dream. OK. <laughs> Ow! It's actually a nightmare. Boys, wait a minute. How about we surprise Prozalinda with something that makes her heart melt? This always works. Makes all women go soft. Believe me, I've been there. Good idea. Chef is always nicer when I bring some treats. And women love flowers. I bet Prozalinda will be so impressed uh -huh. by your thoughtfulness that she'll grant you any wish. You might not need to fly at all. Huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> Madam Prozalinda? For me? <laughs> Coconut's a teacher's pet. <laughs> oh, I just um, wanted to talk about the, the flying test. Would it be possible if I... You don't need to be scared, Coconut. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not scared. <laughs> OK, I will bend the rules, although it has never been done in any flying test. I'll use the safety belt with you. What? <laughs> Oh, bad day. School is the worst. <laughs> Once you're my age, you'll realise that it is actually the best time of your life. Here, see how much fun I had. Huh? Is that Prozalinda? <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> We were the synchronised flying champions. We flew the craziest moves no one could ever copy. <laughs> we became like superstars and made it onto the cover of Dragonville magazine. Hmm. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> to Georgie from Anonymous. Um, huh? Oh. <laughs> Dear Georgie, I'm a long-time admirer of your flying skills. Come, meet me at the barn tonight at sunset. Ooh, bring your yellow flying helmet. <sighs> Let's fly some proper moves. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> admirer of my flying skills, a flying date. Oh, I'd better go and dust off my helmet. <laughs> oh, ow! <laughs> yes. A long-time admirer of your flying expertise would like to meet you at the barn at sunset tonight. Oh, bring your purple flying helmet and let's fly some of your famous dives. <gasps> My famous dives? Oh, I haven't flown them in years. <laughs> this is great, Coconut. I'm sure once she starts flying with Georgie again, she'll substitute you with him in a heartbeat. Come on. <laughs> 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 oh! Oh! Georgie? Ross and Linda? Oh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Did you come to apologize for dropping me when doing the spin mortel? Apologize? Oh, oh no, uh, I did that a million times back then, some 20 years ago. So, you don't care? I do, but it's in the past, and I thought that... Because of you, we didn't make it to the Olympic Dragon Games. It was my biggest... I know, I know. It was your biggest dream. But you need to move on. Move on? You don't understand. Oh, this flying date was a terrible mistake. <gasps> oh. <gasps> now that went badly, didn't it? Brilliantly performed. <laughs> Let's get this synchronized flying over with, shall we? That's a weird flying display. I must stop this. This is all my fault. Proselinda, I know we would have a great flying future together, but I can't change the past. How am I supposed to ever trust you again? It was an accident. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> our championship choreography after we met. I know I can do it. I'll never drop you again. Please. No. No. Why not fly the choreography once more and put things right between you? Fine, then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Spin mortal! Ready! Now, that was quite some flying test. Pineapple, grapefruit and mango, you are the most impressive flying students I have ever had. You deserve an A with a double plus. <laughs> Coconut, you impressed with something else. Courage, that's why you didn't fail and actually get an A plus. Huh? Really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, 
And thank you for teaching me that everyone should be given the chance to make things right. <laughs> now I want you and Pineapple to make things right, too. From now on, you will be flying, partners. Huh? Can it get any worse? Yum, yum. Oh, hey, that's breakfast. Ow. Poor coconut. Every time he sleeps over with those rough gourmet dragons, he comes back in pieces. <sighs> oh, he stays the night with coconut. Not only do they starve him, he comes back with half his teeth missing. <sighs> How's my little pumpkin going to eat? Huh? We need to tell those fire dragons how to behave. But how? Make friends with them. Huh? What? Trade so. Get them over here for a little food. <laughs> a little food? Have you seen them eat? A little conversation. <gasps> Then we can politely suggest they teach their son to behave when he's around our poor little coconuts. Oh, all right. It, it's a good plan, my dear. I'll send an invitation straight away. <laughs> Invited to dinner tonight from your friends, Magnus and Meta. Friends? <laughs> Hear that, Oscar? We've been invited to... Oscar? Oscar? <laughs> oh! Oh! My, My mum and dad, dad have invited... ...are coming to your house to make... ...friends! <gasps> I don't get it. Why the big problem? Because if our parents make friends... Stop talking! How can we kid them we're staying at each other's houses? OK. Then... Hmm. Make sure dinner's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking. Shh, don't disturb me. I've made a pie. But what if they hate it? Oh! 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 Cooking dinner seemed like such a good idea, but I need to be the perfect hostess. Relax. I went and got every kind of food on the island. <laughs> How's that? Gonna help when I don't even know what poor May dragons like to eat. Um, I might know someone who does. Hello. See? Oh, it's going to be just fine. Oh. Mmm. <sighs> that smells so good. Mmm. -hmm. Oscar, remember that fish and ice cream stew we had at yours one time? Oh, yeah. They do love that. Really? Yeah, with uh, coconut milk. My dad just loves coconut milk. 
<laughs> What's funny? What's funny? What's funny is um <laughs> is you and Oscar's mum and dad all being best friends. So great. <laughs> so that's Twenty interesting facts about health and safety, Herb. Oh, oh. oh number twenty-one. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to hear what's so great about us gourmet dragons. <laughs> it's one heck of a list. First, hey, hey, this looks good. <laughs> oh, at last. Huh? What? Uh, oh, what? Uh. <coughs> mm. <gasps> that was for everybody. Oh, don't worry. That was your favourite. Fish and ice cream with coconut milk. <laughs> coconut milk sometimes gives Herb a little touch of uh, gas. <laughs> 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 I'll just go and get more food. There's a pie. No. Uh, oh! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Pardon. Um. <laughs> Leave it to us, Mum. We'll bring the pie. <laughs> Chili powder. Extra, extra, super, mega hot. That's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Coconut does that too. <laughs> Interesting. I hope you like it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, delicious! Did you see that? They turned us into fire dragons for the night. Oh, oh that's so different. How exciting! This is oh. great. <laughs> After a few minutes, it explodes. Cool. Where's the rest of that ice cream? Well, this has been nice. Actually, now we're all friends, there was something we wanted to say. Tiny thing. Hmm? Oh, uh, that's right. About <coughs> Oscar? Hmm. And the way he plays with the, our little coconut is sometimes uh, a bit... <laughs> You've lost a tooth! Oh. idea was this? Mm. Uh, all of you, hey? Are you all OK? Mm. 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 Oh, <laughs> to think I was about to accuse your Oscar of being a bad influence on our coconut. <laughs> That's a good one. 
I was going to say Coconut needs to take more care around our Oscar. Well, he is a bit of a tearaway sometimes. Yeah, I'm not saying Oscar's not a tearaway. <laughs> our Oscar's a tough kid. Coconut's tough. Just Oscar's maybe a little tougher. <laughs> I think Coconut's the tough one. He's a fire dragon. <laughs> we don't see it like that. <laughs> I bet you don't. <laughs> I knew it. Fire dragons always think they're the best. I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! We're leaving! Good! And don't come back! Oh, we won't! Oscar! <clears throat> Let's go! <laughs> Looks like mission accomplished! <laughs> That's the last time you go to play with those gourmet dragons. Oh. No, why did I ever agree to help the chef? He can do the recipes, but where am I going to find a photographer? Oh, it's going to be a disaster. Say cheese. Huh? Cheese. Isn't such a disaster. Three best buddies forever. Yeah! Through thick and thin. Together, every adventure is a piece. Hey! <coughs> Coconut, you come with me. <sighs> Mum! I've got a job for you, for your camera to be exact. Um, actually, this camera doesn't belong to us. We're uh, supposed to return it right now. It's been Coconut's camera for ages. Oh. <laughs> you might become famous. So, are you in? <sighs> Do I have a choice? Uh, no. Mum, <laughs> 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 um, what are you up to? <laughs> um, <laughs> Photographer of all time. Uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh. <laughs> I coconut. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can vouch for him and his work. <laughs> Your amazing cookbook with the photos of you taken by this young master will sell like hot cakes mm. and ensure that you uh, you become very, very rich and extremely famous. Uh, all right. Let us get right to it. Uh, 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 uh. Say something. Oh, he, he said, handsome, Chef. <laughs> oh, you're just so handsome. <laughs> <sighs> What's the matter? My camera's too small for Chef. It only captures parts of his face or body. <laughs> he smells our fear. Let's run now.
<laughs> oh, look at Coconut. A small dragon, but his courage is gigantic. <laughs> My discovery. He's like a son to me. <laughs> oh, oh, why can't you be like Coconut? Then you would be like a son to Chef, too. Huh. Coconut, you think Chef likes you, but putting him on a diet will end in disaster. But didn't you hear? Chef likes me. You're just jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm cautious. Oh. No. Oh. Fine. If you want to be eaten, be eaten without us. Hey! What happened with sticking together through thick and thin? And best buddies forever! <sighs> Coconut, let us get started with that diet. <laughs> Then my hunger. Your will is stronger than temptation. <laughs> My will is stronger than temptation. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's it, Chef. Yeah, go. <laughs> Just visualize your success. I will eat you raw! Still. 
Now what? We have to calm him down somehow. <gasps> Let's put him on a gourmet dragon diet. Gourmet dragon diet? Yeah, that's it. Huh, oh, oh. Yeah, little this way. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. Now push. <laughs> Shouldn't he have lost some weight? Shush. Push. <laughs> I'm sorry for not listening to you. <laughs> Maybe we should leave the camera at home from now on. Where's my picture? Huh? <laughs> it is a bestseller. <laughs> <laughs> So, I have decided that Coconut, Oscar, and Matilda will photograph a whole series of books about me. Huh? <laughs> You're it! Miss <laughs> <Face> me! <laughs> Come catch me! <laughs> Don't stop, Herb! You are not falling asleep already, are you? <laughs> oh, my husband, the dishwasher. Oh. oh, what's going on? They're getting ready for the cattle drive. Cattle drive? Every summer, the gourmet dragons take their cattle up to graze the high pastures. Mm -hmm. Boy, sounds like fun. I'll show you something fun. Sit, boy. Mm. Nuts, nuts. Mm -hmm. Ox nuts. Mm -hmm. He'll do anything for them. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Not impressed, huh? How about handstand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. <laughs> Wait. Now... <laughs> I'm lucky they're letting me go at all after, you know. Uh? <laughs> oh. My arm! It's broke! Uh, 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 uh. Incoming! Good boy! Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Chef. You have quite a way with that animal. It seems I am a dragon short for the drive. Oh. You are his replacement. Oh. Mount up! Than Tasty. Uh huh. You will take good care of Tasty, won't you? Uh huh. Explain to me again why Tasty, clearly an ox, isn't going with you on the ox drive. Tasty isn't any ox. He's my special wiggle oxy friend. <laughs> I don't want him picking up any bad habits. <sighs> huh? Just keep feeding him nuts. He'll be as good as gold. Okay. Um, good luck. 
Oscar! Mount up! At last, a chance to restore the family honour. Oh. Um, okay, Mum. What does she mean, family honour? Dunno. Huh? <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay, Mrs. Three Bellies. I'll show you who's in charge here. Just walk to start with. <laughs> Ten nil. Mm. Oh, I just gave you some knots. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need a lot more knots. <laughs> no! Not that way! Ugh. He's a worse cattle man than he's died. Huh? No one is as bad as Herdless Herb. <laughs> <laughs> Herdless Herb? Somebody's nearly ready. You better get a move on if you want any. Hey! Come back! Help me! Whoa! Tree as promised. Oh, excellent. That should keep you happy, Tasty. Huh? Where'd he go? <laughs> hey, guys, here he is. <laughs> oh, Oscar. <laughs> He's old Herdless's son, all right. Oh, oh. It seems I was wrong about you, boy. I think it is time you went home. It's not my fault. It's her. She's a monster. She is a dumb animal. You simply need to assert your authority. <gasps> See? Simple. <laughs> Maybe you deserve another chance. I'll do anything. I am going to trust you with the Night Watch. Oh! But if anything happens to a single one of these cattle, it will be on your family's record, understand? Oh! Tasty! Tasty! Yep, oh, he came this way. Oh, we must be halfway up to the high pasture by now. He's probably trying to find Oscar. Dad, why do they call you Herdless Herb? Well, the first time... And last... I came on the drive... He fell asleep on night watch and let the whole herd escape. Ouch. Mm. Oh, it was terribly embarrassing. Embarrassing. <sighs> well, this family is not going to be embarrassed tonight. We're going to stay awake and look after the herd. We'll show everyone just how reliable we are. Dad? <laughs> Mum? <laughs> OK. I'm going to show everyone just how... <laughs> oh, no, I must stay awake. <sighs> That's it. I'll count the herd. That way, I'll know if any get out. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 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 Oscar will never forgive me if I've lost Tasty. Mmm. Th these are delicious toasted. Mm. Mm. Huh? <gasps> Tasty! Who's that? Mm. No. 
Tasty's mum. Now where are they going? Please come back. They're going to call me Cowless Oscar. Huh. Or maybe not. What are you guys doing here? You should be a camp. Um, I don't suppose any of you know the way back. Oh, guys, come on, help me out here. My family honour is at stake. <laughs> Oscar, wake up! A, a coconut? Uh, what are you doing here? Is Tasty okay? <laughs> His mum is looking after him. Huh? That monster is Tasty's mum. Oh, no wonder she didn't want to come. She must have been missing him terribly. Over here! Uh-oh. Mm. Huh? No uh, I'm in trouble. For what? For getting lost with the whole herd. Mm. You were bringing them to the high pasture, right? Yes. Look around. This is <laughs> the high pasture. <laughs> but, but, oh, I. Let me do the talking. So you are telling me this boy left camp early and drove the whole herd here by himself? Dragon's honor. Well, Oscar. You must have cattle wrangling in your blood somewhere, my boy. Oh. <laughs> he takes after me. Hmm. Wherever he gets it from. Next year, Oscar, you and your family can lead the cattle drive. <laughs> Way to go, hard <laughs> moist up, Oscar. <laughs> 